Hello everybody and welcome, this is Roland from Graphic in Motion. In this tutorial I want to show you how to customize my corporate collage template. So let's get started. When you open up the project you will see that we have three compositions already open. There is the render composition, the audio composition and the logo composition. And let's start with the render composition. You see that we have a color setup layer here which contains some markers and these markers just help you to orientate while customizing the template and in this color setup you can see that we have a lot of color control panels or color control effects and with these color controls you can change the look of the background here so let's say we want to change the color of page number four you see that i move my cursor just above this marker and now I just go to page number four here and I can change the color now to whatever I want. And you can do this with every page so you can just create your own look very easily. I will change back to normal and now we can start adding some footage and a logo and everything else. So let's move to page one and start customizing page number one. Therefore, you just can open up page number one by going to the project window here and open up the pages folder. You see that there are 16 page compositions and I want to customize page number one. So I will just open it by double clicking page number one. And you see that I have a few elements here and I have my logo placeholder or my logo composition, my text here. This is the title and we have the background layer. And you see that there is another title saying this is page number one and this is just a guide layer. It just should help you to keep an overview on which page you're currently working on. So this will not have an effect on the render. If you move to the render composition, you see that it's not displayed here. This is because it's just a guide layer. So let's say you want to import a logo here. So therefore I go to file and import file and I will move to my logo composition or logo folder. and just import it and now we'll drag it oops sorry i have to go to my logo composition of course and now i just drag it on top of my placeholder here and disable the text layer and just scale it down like this and now i can move back to my render comp or to my page number one and you see that my logo is already displayed here so you see that by default the logo will get tinted to white. If you don't want this, so if you want your logo to be displayed in the original colors, you can change this inside the page one composition. So therefore you just have to select the logo layer and you will see that there is a tint effect active. And this is now saying Einfärben because it is the German word for tint. And I just can disable the effect here. And now you see that you see the original colors of your logo. But I will leave this tint effect active. And now I can just change my title if I want. You can just double click it and type in something else here. Let's change that back and let's move on to the next page. So page number two, a really simple page, only displaying a title. So let's open it up just to take a quick look and you see that we have this title here and I can just double click by and now enter some new title and I want to show you another thing if you want to change the size of this square so if you for example want to uh, tell the people that you're not a graphic design company but you are the best graphic design company so you see now the title is a little bit too big for our square here so of course you could change the size of the font but let's say we don't want to do this we want to change the size of this square so this is pretty easy too. just go to the grid layer or select the grid layer and you see that there is a mask on this layer and now I can just double click the mask and just expand it a little bit and now you see we just changed the size of this square. So I will just change this back to the default and I will just move on to the next page. 
and now we will start adding some footage. So page three, you can see that we already have some footage placeholders visible. And now I could open up page number three here. Or if I just want to add, edit the placeholders directly, I can also find them inside the footage placeholders folder here. You see there is a folder called page three and you have all the four footage placeholders inside this folder. So let's just import some footage to footage placeholder number one. Therefore, we just double click page three footage one to open up this composition. And you see that there are just two layers and these are just placeholders. And now I can go to file and import file. And I will import my footage. open it up and just drag it on top of my placeholders. I can disable them now and I will just scale this up a little bit and move it to the right position. Let's say like this. By the way, all the elements and uh, photos and graphic elements I used in the preview video are files from Graphic River and Photodune. So you can find all these items, the links to all these items inside the item details on VideoHive. So if you like these files, you can purchase them and you can get some really great art here. So now let's check it. Let's go back to our page three composition and you see that now my footage is already here. I will just import one more. Therefore, I just open up my page three footage two and the same import file. And let's say I want to import this guy here and drag it on top. Scale it to the right size and go back to my page. And now I can, of course, just edit my titles here. You have the title we offer and then you have this info box here and you can just double click and put in services or whatever you want to say or just double click this one and write, type in whatever you are offering, whatever you want, whatever you want to say. So this is more or less it. Um, when we take a look at our render comp, you see that really all the pages are more or less the same. You have always some placeholders and you have some titles. And there is one exception and this is the portfolio layer you will see that there are, I'll just change the resolution to full here, that there are a lot of placeholders displayed, but don't worry, you don't have to edit all these placeholders inside the portfolio composition. This composition updates automatically and I will show you quickly what it does. So when we go to our page number six, which is the first page of the portfolio, we enter something. Let's go to page number six quickly and just open up placeholder number one and import something. Let's say I just will import this one. Drag it on top and just scale it up. And when I go back to my page six, now you see that we have the main footage in here. And of course you can again, just change the titles here and add some information here. And when I go to my render comp now and check page number five, which is the portfolio page, you see that there is already the footage updating. So when you, when you customize your slideshow and you put in your content here, then the portfolio will just update automatically. And the same, of course, happens in the background. So if we take a look at the beginning more, for example, you see that here in the background, you see all these pages and here it's, of course, it's the same, you know, everything you do inside the page compositions and the footage placeholders will be displayed and updated in the background. So one more thing before you render it out, you can import some audio. 
and I have created an audio composition. But this audio composition is more or less only useful if you want to use the same audio that I used, um, which is called Clouds. And you can also find the link in the items description or also here in the links folder in the download area. Here you have the music clouds link to audio jungle. And I created this audio composition because I didn't use the audio as it is when you purchase it. So I will just show you this quickly. I will import the audio. import my clouds and I will drag it in my audio composition and now you can see that in the beginning it starts very quiet and I just wanted to skip this part you know because it's just a little bit too long and when I move to my render comp now and you take a look at the audio composition right here and I just press LL to reveal this you see that I just moved it a little bit, you know, that the intro uh, is just a little bit shorter. So if you want to use the clouds audio and you want it to be exactly the same as in the preview video, you can use this audio composition. If not, if you want to use another music, you know, you can use any music, of course, you can just drag in your music right into the render comp and maybe disable or even delete the audio comp and then you have your music just as you want. Okay, so this is it. I hope that you like the template, that you create some nice presentations and slideshows with it. If you have any questions, problems, you know, feel free to write me a mail. You will find my email address on my homepage, which is www.graphicinmotion.com or of course through my video hive profile. So thanks a lot for watching. And I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.